uh, YouTube. So today we're gonna hit these drive tires now. Um, I was saying which side would be better for the video to shoot it on. Um, you got the sun going this way and the shade more on that side. It'll probably shine too bright on this side for the video. So I just show this side last. And I do this part over here for the shade side. That way it don't look too bright. So we're about to hit these drives with one more touch of uh, white diamond and some accent. They're gonna need some accent. Um, I got this uh, WAB aluminum trailer cleaner restore. It says not for polish aluminum. Concentrated accents, detergents, removes oxidation and brightens trailers, wheels, fuel tanks, and much more. When they say not for polish, <laughs> that means that's the good stuff. So um, I'm only gonna put a small amount in there. Put water in that first. And when you do this, uh, working around accent, make sure you wear these kind of rubber gloves. And we'll put the water in there first. Then, we're gonna put some accent in there. I had this before. And, um, the way how it brightened up aluminum, amazing, amazing. That's a good idea. So you only want to put a small amount like that. Have more, like 80% water, then 20% accent. Then be ready to go. So we're gonna hit this right now with the white diamond. And the accent. This will first. Alright, so first. Gotta hit the tank. Gotta wipe off the tire. Every time. These tires never they had no tire shining on them. So they still look good. Even when you wipe. So y'all out there wanna. Make the tires look good, just wipe it off with a towel. The light tires shine on it. So this is the accent here. Some strong stuff, man. These dry tires are gonna shine brighter than the uh, steers. See that? Look at that's foaming up. This may only need one pass. This stuff may only need one pass here. Trailer restore, but it's an aluminum brightener. It is aluminum brightener. And when I say these gonna have these uh, wheels real bright, oh, you about to see. And I'm doing this with my lowest polish. Hit it with the absorber after that, dry it off. So when you do this, you want to polish the wheel immediately. You can't let the accent dry up on the wheel. You got to polish it immediately. All right. So that's 
how I look with the, uh, the actual rinse off, actual wash. Now it's time to polish. I got my white diamond ready to go. on it because it's the first time it's never been polished. So I'm gonna put two passes on it. I may have to put the POV mode on this one because the wheel go round and round. I don't think y'all can see the other side. I didn't check it yet, but I don't think y'all can see the other side. But I think I'm gonna do POV mode for so the more you go around a groove, the better. You see it turning black? I mean, it's working. again with a second pass. This is my last video for the white diamond. Um, I'm just trying to get rid of this bottle best way for me to do it was to do it on these rims and tanks instead of just throwing it away just to get to get it started and I use my good stuff over there I really don't feel like doing the inside of over there the inside of the that's not take so long to come out After wiping it all on there, you want to give a good, good little twirl. The black hair turn, the more it shine. Look like each spot. About five little, five spins, same way, same rotation. the buffing pad it ain't gonna look how you think it's gonna look you need one buffing pad before you do the wipe off all 
Alright, time to reveal it. Do that side, flip it over, and finish it off. The clean side. of it if you can um, if you're gonna do it like this on the road try to wear um, eye protection because you don't want this accent to get in your eye this stuff here is strong it's aluminum brightness strong and remember don't wipe it it will smear mirror up something and be harder to get out you kind of like flashing it to get that stuff off too much of it you try to polish over it it's still to be there if you don't use axe for the 
was over. These were badly pitted. Time to polish it. This is gonna be a hard, hard one to do. I can already tell. I can tell this one gonna be hard to get through to here. There's the first pass. I'm not doing this side, the inside, cause I know I'm gonna have them hub cup covers on it. And that ain't gonna never show. So, and that'd be, a, it'd be so hard to get it out. Take longer, I don't wanna do it for the video. Take too long to get that stuff out. It's gonna be a little task here. So the next time I do a polishing video, it'll be a different polish. And I will be using the drill with the power ball. I will be using that. And I make it two times better than using it by hand. Seeing something splash. So when you're doing uh, two passes on it, you don't want to wipe it off. Use all your strength to wipe it all off. Because you're going to do it again. You just want to kind of wipe over it. Let's say your strength for the second polish, the second, second pass. Two. Alrighty. 
pass, two white diamond. And I appreciate the likes too. Um, I remember I asked for three likes. So that means people kind of like this or want to know about it. So I appreciate that. I do all this stuff all the time. Tire shine stuff too. But I ain't gonna put the tire shine on there yet. Till I get that first truck wash, you know? I wanna get a whole truck wash first. Then I start with my tire shines. I'm do a truck wash my first week out there. Hit that back and everything though. But the truck still look good, even without it, but kinda need that deep clean from good old Blue Beacon. I know everybody love Blue Beacon. Streaking, streaking Beacon. All right, time to reveal. Buff and pad. Make it more easier to take off. All right, White Diamond, let's see if you got it. Can you make this one come to life? Don't try to wipe in one spot, like clean on one spot when you first do it. Or just try to get around the whole wheel first. Just try to, like you know, don't, don't, don't go in the same spot. And make it come clear, you wanna just go all around it first and then come back to it. Oh yeah. This one here came up coming to life. Really fast. That's nice bill. See that? See what I actually do? I don't know if this could have been done. But that accident. Oh yeah. Remember, when I flip the towel over, and finish it off. You'll see a difference. When you flip it over and do one more wipe. One more wipe. The last part is the good old microfiber. I mean, I can see me clearing that cap. Brightly in the cap. There you go. That's white diamond with that accent. This one looked brighter than that one. Y'all see that? That one looked better than this one. This one more pitted. I see it from here. It's badly pitted, but I'm gonna get it out. 
Is that the first pass? That's the first pass. They look good together though. Let's see it. From this side to the other side, the driver's side. This is what you, your best side gotta be. The driver's side gotta be the best side. So I'm gonna hit that. Well, I'm gonna hit it a little slower. Um, the camera side was on the passenger side because the sun was beaming that way here, make it look too bright. But it look all right. White diamond in that accent. So remember this is right here. By WAP, aluminum trailer cleaner. And it's the first time. This is the very first pass. So look all right. So I'm gonna hit that side over there. Show a little clips in here and there.
They look good. But I need, need y'all to see how it'll pop with some tire shine on it. I think I'm gonna show a little half of the tire shine I use to make it really pop. I ain't gonna use the whole the whole tire. I need to give an example though. Yeah, the driver's side looking a little better. This wheel is pitted. I'm about to do some extra work on this one. I'm gonna show you this tire shine. This tire shine. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all one of the tire shines I use. Um, if I buy a gallon or something, I mean, it's pretty good. They sell us at the, the big truck stops, like Iowa 80. Um, Kenley 95 uh, The big truck stops that have a lot of shiny stuff I used to get this a few years ago, but it wasn't that good But they reformulated this and made it more thicker I'm gonna show y'all how half a wheel look with this web tire shine now. I have four more tire shines But I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek on the best wheel of how WAP tire shine look. I think this one is my, the best looking one. So what you do is, don't apply it on the wheel. You wanna have a good tire pad. Put it on. I'm gonna do half of this wheel. I wanna see what y'all think of tire shine let's do half of it see how this thing is coating this wheel and it's gonna stay like this too it's in that cheap stuff from Walmart none of that tire spray stuff it's Stuff here thick, good for truck tires. Let's do half up, get y'all a sneak peek. This wab, wab tire dressing. Show y'all how them rims will really pop. See that though? See the difference in how, how, how that'll look? It's tire dressing. Tire dressing here. Yeah. And it's gonna stay just like this. The whole time. But I ain't put no more on. <laughs> it's gonna look funny when I drive, but there's a show y'all a little preview. Yeah. That wrap. All right, so y'all let me know what y'all think about it. If y'all like it, just let me know.